Hello everyone and welcome back to Ringwood Volkswagen. My name's Ian and in this video I just wanted to briefly show you through how to activate and use Apple CarPlay. So first things first, you'll notice we're just at the main screen here. So where it says App Connect, if you just click on here, this screen will pop up. And once you see this screen, if you plug your device in via the USB stick I've just done now, You'll have an option that comes up on the car that says connect so just push on that also get a, a message pop on your phone so just click allow there as well and as you can see it goes straight in so very simple to um, get started it's literally just plug and play and uh, click on to allow messages and that's it you're in now as you can see if you do already own a iphone this looks pretty much spot on to what you're used to on your phone. Now, you can use it like a tablet, so you can swipe left and swipe right, as shown. Um, this button down here will change depending on what screen you're on. It's sort of essentially like your, your home screen button. So they're your two sort of main screens, okay? You'll notice that on the first screen um, that you've got like a bit of everything. So you've got a bit of the, 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 the Apple version of Maps. You've got your music player. And you've also got, uh, for satellite navigation, you know, directions to somewhere. Being that I'm at the dealership at the moment, um, obviously you can click on here to, you know, take you to your home address if you've got it programmed into your phone already. Now, you'll also notice too that uh, we've got over here some icons as like a quick sort of reference guide. If we go to the second main page, again, this is where it gets a bit more interesting. You've got your telephone. So if I just click on here, You'll notice that again, it looks very similar to what you currently have on your device. All of your contacts are here and such. You can also dial a number if you choose to. You can also access uh, your voicemail. Moving on, you've got your music here. You've got Apple's versions of the maps. Again, very similar to the, the main screen that we saw before. Text messages. So how the text messages work, you can't actually read uh, a text message. Um, in the car, but Siri will actually read one out to you if you click on one. She'll also ask you if you want to reply uh, to a text message as well, and then you can just say to her uh, what you'd like her to, to type to that person. Um, you can also access your calendar as well. The good thing with the calendar too, if you've got an appointment already in your calendar, when you jump into the car to go to it, um, Siri will be able to recognise that, and she can actually have a program straight into the maps and uh, away you go. So it just makes it nice and easy. Now, if we scroll over to the next page, I've got two apps here that uh, didn't come with my phone as standard. I've obviously downloaded them through the, the App Store. Now, Spotify is uh, a music player that you can use if you've got a subscription. And I've also got Waze, which is like a, it's another mapping system. So Apple obviously has their system. Um, like you could even have Google Maps as well. Uh, which would come up in the car too. I tend to run Waze because I just like how it works and what it does for you. Um, and then you've also got uh, obviously settings here as well. So if you push on that, you know, there's certain things that are um, Apple CarPlay relatable that you can obviously, you know, personalize depending on, on, uh, on, your, on your choice and things like that. Now, if you wanted to get back to uh, the Volkswagen system, so you've got two options. You can just simply unplug your phone or if you just tap on that symbol there, that'll just take you straight back. Okay, just bear in mind too, that in order to use Apple CarPlay, your phone, it must be connected via the USB. Um, there will be a time later on where they'll do a wireless version of it for most of the cars. Uh, but for the moment, for, for most of our cars, you do have to plug it in via the USB cord. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video, everyone. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for future content and we'll see you in the next one.